the Institute for Women and Children's Health exists to make health better for women, children and young people. And we do that by focusing on some specific areas that we think make us special. One is that we are interested in shining a light on the ordinary. We make the ordinary extraordinary because this is the way to improve outcomes for the population at scale. Number two, about lab to life. How do we improve the research translation pipeline? Number three, life course. So we cover everything from preconception through childhood and into adulthood. The Institute for Women and Children's Health focuses on tackling the big problems that affect outcomes for women and children. And we do that through a variety of ways. It's partly about infrastructure, but it's also about ways of working. So for example, we've built a learning health system. That means that we can collect data and through sophisticated analysis, artificial intelligence and more, we can apply that data and analytics to designing and delivering care that is specifically targeted to meet the needs of women and children. We do that through the way that we work. Partly this is about partnership working, partly it's about the infrastructure that we're building in the Institute that allows us to connect together more closely the university with the clinical world for the patients and population that we serve. How do we do that? Well, we've built a learning health system, and that means that we are collecting routinely available data together with specially collected data, and we apply sophisticated analytics, and that allows us to shape and tailor the system response in order to better provide care. The Institute for Women and Children's Health is trying hard to learn from the COVID-19 pandemic. So, for example, we are learning from the health system shock that has happened. The health system, as we all know, has changed completely, utterly overnight during the pandemic. And there's a lot that we can learn from that that will help us to build a more resilient health system thereafter. There's a large piece of work going on now across southeast London that the Institute is leading on learning how to build a more resilient health system for the life course. We want over the next several years to be an institute that takes discovery science and translates it into changing practice and policy and improving outcomes for women and children and beyond. We want every woman and child and young person to have the best possible opportunities for better health and life. So in our local communities, we want a child born to a poor family more likely to survive than they are now. We want black and minority ethnic families to be uh, in better health. We want black and minority ethnic mothers to be less likely to die in childbirth than they are now. We know that long term conditions and mental health problems are increasingly common and many of the inequalities in care outcomes. And we want to reduce inequalities in care outcomes and improve health overall. So our research and education and training focuses on improving quality outcomes uh, for women and children. And we do that in three particular areas. We focus on improving survival. We focus on improving the determinants of health and things that help women and children to thrive. And we do that by transforming the system to enable those things to happen.